Hi guys, you're back here with Barry, and I'm here with my latest victim, Dane. <laughs> and uh, uh, Dane and I spent uh, about five days together, eh? All right, yep. Dane, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, nothing uh, too, too uh, personal or anything, but where mm. you're from and what inspired you to come out here and have a look, and just tell the folks out there, and we'll try and help a few more if we can. Oh, sure. Um, well, I'm Dane. I'm um, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, average working guy, you know, everyday working, and just happened to come across the videos here of the uh, DR Escapes family, Barry, you know, Johnny, Leanne, and was me mesmerized ever since uh, watching the videos. I couldn't couldn't take my eyes off of it. <laughs> and every video you watch, he shows you more, more and more of the landscape down here, the people as well, and it just it was intrigued me enough until it. Just boiled over, and I had to book the flight. <laughs> so it's beautiful. You're, um, I know, working hard, uh, a decent, uh, a good-paying job, and everything. Mm. Uh, do you have any children? Yeah, one son. Uh, his name is David. And um, right now, presently, you're single. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I know you have a lady friend for many years. Yeah. And trying to get um, her to see different yeah. ideas and different different mm. aspects of yeah. how things are mm -hmm. um basically without sugarcoating anything in a nutshell what has been your experience over the last five days uh, it's hard it's hard to sum it up in one word um but any any expectations i had about it it exceeded them like by far i couldn't everything we did from day to day the from going to the different towns and to the to the areas where you don't really see too many people at they're just beautiful the landscapes the the scenery um the food here is excellent they feel, <laughs> everybody <laughs> says that the everybody food, says the, that the food is really good here um everywhere we went uh the the beaches we went to the the places where you can just sit back relax and and not be too bothered with you know too many people um it's just beautiful Awesome. If you had to pick one, was it the back roads your favorite? The beaches, the oh, mountains. Yeah, I like the mountains. The the view. What's that? The wind tunnel the we wind went tunnel to. The wind tunnel I took you to. You come up the hill. Yeah, I and, thought you were gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't expect what you were about to see. It was just we were riding up through the back roads, and you get up to the top, and it just seemed like it just opened up to <laughs> to something I could never have expected to see. That and uh, I got a lot of good photos and uh, some really good memories of this place. I'm a Photos do it justice? Uh, no, you got to see it. You got to see it in person. Yeah. It's something, I mean, seeing it on the, um, the videos is really nice, but it's, it's really good to come down here and take a look at it yourself. Yeah, a lot of folks say you can't compare two-dimensional yeah, to three-dimensional. It's hard. It's quite different. You get the breeze, you get the, the views, and all, all the people, too. Uh, the Dominican people, really nice. Yeah, it's like when I ask you. What, what do they, you know, it's just a smile, and a, a smile and a wave. And everybody waves back and gives you a smile. It's very, very welcoming by the people there. Leanne and, and my experience um, in, in our travels, um, we are firmly of the belief people do not dislike or even a stronger word, hate by nationality. Mm. They mm -hmm. hate by individual. I agree. And it, it really is no consequence where you're from. If if you're rude and abrupt and a demanding person, you're not going to be liked wherever you live. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a fallacy that's, you know, a lot of people have stuck in their heads. But mm. um, I guess it hasn't really been the experience for you. Not at all. I haven't received any <laughs> type of like... I know. I've, this is an easy yeah, one because yeah. Dane had a great time I, here. I really I, did. And, uh, it's been a pleasure for us. This was anything but uh, but an effort for me to spend time. I'm actually sorry to see the character go home. <laughs> yeah. But I want to do want to touch on something a bit more serious. Mm -hmm. What is it that inspired you? What was it that shifted you? Mm -hmm. What is it that 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 made you look for an alternative way? What what is it you've seen or, or experienced where you live? What um, is it? Just it's, it's the access to, to food and, and in case of something was to happen back home. I mean, it would, you got to ask yourself questions or can I sustain myself if there was to be something that, you know, led to, God forbid, a, a disaster or anything. And when you look down here and you look around, you drive all around, there's just food everywhere. There's, just, there's trees, there's orange trees, mango trees, you got pineapples, 
coconuts. The first time I drank from a coconut. So it's this. And wait, when you work out though, you drink coconut. What was it? At least, coconut uh, juice. Yeah, at least three, four times a week. When you're working out. Yeah. And now, it's is expensive. this coconut juice any different than what you're buying? Um, the coconut I, I drank here is twice as good. You could just feel it, like the nat, the electrolytes just rush through your body. You know, and it, it is. I, I could taste the difference. You can. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I, I don't know. That's all I've ever done is drink them out of the coconut. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know any better to compare it by, but... Dane, tell us a bit where you feel, you see, where do you feel the nation heading, your nation? Um, it's... it's it's too dependent, you know. It's too much dependency on, on government. It's too much dependency on other people to supply what you may need. You know, it's. I just like independency of you know being able to, you know, feed yourself and. But I, I can't really say. But I just see a lot of dependency there. You know. Did we shed some light on some of your questions while you were here? Maybe provide, not not. Answers are subjective to each individual, mm -hmm. but do we maybe place some order of progression and oh, yeah. some ideas about maybe how to sustain yourself and oh, things yeah. of that nature? Yeah, absolutely. And, and without any shadow of a doubt, just shatter any doubts that any any doubts that you may have of anything. You know, you back home and the way they pr promote certain things, they build up a worry in you. But when you come down here, it's just worry free. Do you, you know, believe you it's an artificial, like an enhanced worry to keep you in that mindset? I, or I you... believe so. I believe so. I believe, you know, they they uh, particularly probably don't want people to, to think outside the box. And that's that's what this is about here. It's, think, it's thinking outside the box. It's, uh, it's more dependent on your, you know, your landscape. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I, I appreciate that, you know. And it wasn't anything that Barry wasn't trying to push any ideas on you he let you just experience it for yourself and there's nothing to sell here it's just the, it is, the place sells itself it's beautiful i often say that <laughs> it's, it's it is it just it uh i couldn't see any and, it's and overwhelming that, sometimes sometimes <laughs> you're at a loss for words it, there's so many words that you can say about it you know it's diverse it's it's, it's sustainability is it's um affordability you know you Things you get here, the meals we got, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't <laughs> believe what we paid for. Yeah, some he of the was pretty meals. generous too. He was paying for everyone. Just, <laughs> I don't want him to go. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just I appreciate it. It was a, you know a great experience. I couldn't couldn't have imagined it to be any any better. In, 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 what can you say about when you asked me um, when we were together on one of our trips, bouncing around? One, I think it was one of the back roads. Mm -hmm. What? can you say about the answer i gave you about how do i start this barry what are the what are the steps i do first and i i was telling oh, you yeah. the language and, yeah yeah and, and consider the immigration process yeah. i mean um do you think that made sense to you oh, rather I, than worrying about right now how do i make a living here yeah you yeah know? you got to take stuff in steps you know you don't want to jump over and try to go directly to step d i know we think sometimes that that's always the way and yeah, but you definitely want to start with the language so you can communicate better with the um, the local people. They're so nice, and you want to be able to speak to them yeah. on their terms. They could be very helpful, you know, and just seeing people, how they communicate. Yeah, the learning the language, and then step two, it put things in its proper uh, perspective for me. How has this trip affected you about when you return home, about how you're going to approach your loved ones and your, your son? Oh, yeah, well, it's an experience that I can tell him about you know and just hand down something to him and now i'm more more determined than ever to come back you know and uh i'm sure you know with the with the pictures i got to some of the videos that we take i'm sure he'll appreciate it as well when everybody else um i couldn't say enough for what we've done in a day i remember johnny asking us uh well how was your day and it was so it was so much that we've done and so so much that you've covered in one day and and no two places, even though it's they're similar, they're still diverse. Yeah. And, you know, when you travel into the the back roads, and then you get to the the higher altitudes, the, even the weather changes. You can feel the uh, a a temper, you know, the the temperature change a little bit. With Not the too cold, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. just it's nice that you can have that diversity in one place, and then a half hour away, you're close to all the amenities you would need, and it's it's beautiful. Would you think? 
when I tell people and my subscribers, uh, for the people, once we talk and get to know each other, mm -hmm. if you come down here, give me five days, and I'll show you oh, in five man. days what you won't see in six months on yeah, your own. Am you, I exaggerating that, or no. is it fairly accurate from what you've seen? Yeah, and, you could never. It would be so hard, especially some of the places that we ate to. <laughs> I, I couldn't imagine coming on my own and just trying to travel around and figure out where these like beautiful little places was it fed us delicious meals and yeah it'd be, it would be too hard so did you ever feel threatened did you ever feel scared did you any of these things enter your not for one second no. do you believe now the internet is a double-edged sword where dirty laundry sells web time this yeah, sure is uh seeing it in person no i never felt that for one second even you know, I, I built up relationship just just at where I stayed at with uh, uh, Marino. Marino, yeah, <laughs> we he's talk. So, he's cool. We talk every day now, and I, I kind of make it a habit to speak with. He's such nice. You know, the people are you know really content. It's a beautiful place. I, I couldn't speak enough. I'm just looking forward to coming back. <laughs> spending you think more this time. Um, expatriation might be the way for you in the future? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Anywhere you can sustain yourself and anywhere you can look all around and see a, a beautiful landscape, um, good people, welcoming people, food everywhere. <laughs> That's, uh, I couldn't see. And no, uh, like I, am, I said, I'm really uh, sorry to see you go. Yeah, we've, we've had some deep conversations. And yeah, I appreciate Everybody's that. frequency is at a different uh, vibrational source, but uh, we, we really had some deep conversations. Yeah. And uh, it's not as if we were drunk while we were doing it. It was uh, <laughs> something that came natural. I, I like to keep these informative, but I do like to keep them at a reasonable length. I want to, first of all, thank you for oh. doing this. Oh, absolutely. I know it helps other people, and I know it's one of the reasons by seeing other people is what inspired you sure, to actually sure. make it a real thing. Absolutely. But on a last note, what can Dane tell you, what can Dane say about the people that have mixed conceptions about other parts of the world mm -hmm. or the people that are, I like to use the term, uh, stuck on the fence post city. Mm -hmm. What can Dane tell them that that might inspire them to look a little bit more open-mindedly? Yeah, sure. Um, just if, like, I, I like the uh, saying that the coach uh, for our team back home, Pittsburgh Steelers, he always says is you shouldn't live in your fears. And if that's what's holding you back from coming to see a place that's so sustainable, so so beautiful, then just just give it a try. And I think you sh you know you'll like what you'll see. If if not anything, you'll eat well. <laughs> so you'll you'll see a beautiful landscape. And um, you know you you know your wife and and Johnny. I couldn't I couldn't ask for a better support system here. Just. Don't Plus, live yeah, in your a fears. Lot of the folks that we've relocated here also are very glad to help. And yeah. It's really getting to be a very nice situation. Uh, we all do uh, eventually, uh, you know, frequent the same mm -hmm. uh, um, beliefs and understandings. But it's nice to have a, a, a group of people in place that yeah. are willing to help because, yeah. uh, you know, they've yeah. been through it and they yeah. know what it's all about. Yeah. Any last minute uh, things before this rain comes and we cut camera because oh. it's about thirty seconds away. Yes. I see it on the. You see it covering. I see it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a it's something that you need. But um, no, I just want to thank you. You know the fam. You know the DR Escape family down here for uh, welcoming me and showing me some something that I never thought I would see. But I'm glad I took the opportunity to come and uh, get a piece of it. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Well, we're glad that, uh, all three of us are really glad we had a chance to meet you. Yeah. Uh, a wonderful high quality individual and up close and personal. You're with Barry and Dane. And until next time, bye.